um and so what i really want us to do today if we can is just connect uh, with something called somatic meditation uh which basically means that we'll really connect to what our bodies are trying to tell us really internally and when we say connecting to intuition or building intuition it it means that we're really kind of tapping into what our body wisdom is telling us so what i'd like us to do is if anything that's been bothering you the last few days um you know the last month or even if you got up today with a kind of thought or a worry or you know you really want to do something but something's holding you back i just want you to think about that in your mind for a bit you know just just think up what's what's coming up i mean it shouldn't be anything that's triggering you too much so you know any thoughts that are too heavy let's leave that for another time because this is a short space a small space to do this but but something which is slightly irritating or you know annoying you and it's kind of niggling at the back of your mind keep that kind of coming up and letting it kind of just go over your mind mull over it a bit um if you want we can close our eyes just normally breathe and connect to ourselves connect to the space that is around us and yeah just 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 bring up this thought that's coming up or these thoughts and see if we can explore how your body is reacting to these thoughts as we bring these up in our minds what what's happening to your breathing is it normal is it a bit slow fast your heart rate and let's connect with feeling the seat be, be, beneath which we sitting and our body is connecting to that seat to that surface feeling the sensations in our skin it's just a way of connecting a bit deeper and going from just our minds and our thoughts into what our body is trying to tell us about those thoughts and about those feelings so let's just see where's where's your attention being drawn to in your body it could be any part of your body could be your chest your stomach your feet hands head is it feeling what what is that sensation that that you're being drawn to in your body is it feeling tight is it actually feeling quite flowing sometimes a color can come to mind that's associated with this feeling to see if any of that comes up and it's okay if it doesn't you can just be with your body and what's it's telling you keep breathing and slowly as you breathe in and out see if you can flow that breath to that part of that to your body it's just an imaginative thing it's like you're taking your breath and letting the breath reach that part of your body that's feeling whatever these sensations are and if you believe in any guides or teachers or gods or it could just be the power and magic of nature let's just call those energies in to be with us during this guided meditation and help us connect to our authentic body and mind wisdom and it's okay if your mind is going all over the place let let it flow from thought to thought you don't have to kind of focus it in it's just just being aware of what's coming up 
and what your body is also trying to tell you. So are you feeling fidgety? Are you feeling quite grounded? Is there a part of you that's feeling a bit achy? And slowly as you do that, I want you to open your eyes very gently and instead of looking at the computer screen or phone, I want you to look around where you are and let your eyes rest on a surface or a color that feels soothing to you. Like just, just very, you know, gently focus your eyes. You don't have to focus really strongly, but just let your eyes rest on something that very naturally just draws your eyes to. So for instance, I can see a really nice blue color just below and I'm, I'm just focusing my eyes on that for a bit. And what this does is when we're feeling a lot of thoughts coming up and lots of things and we can't connect to our body sensation, the, the eyes are a way of connecting to your autonomic nervous system and telling it that it's not under threat. And you're focusing on something that's soothing and that that connection to the soothing is going into your belly and to your gut and saying, nothing bad is happening at this moment. We're here for ourselves. We can connect. And just see, are there any changes to that earlier sensation that was happening in the body? When we had our eyes closed and now when we have our eyes on this soothing color. If there isn't a change, that's okay. But if, if you can see a slight shift, slight change. And as you do that, you can close your eyes again if you want, or you can continue keeping your eyes on this. And let your breathing kind of just loosen out your chest. So just breathe into your chest and then let that fill up your stomach. And again, to see any shifts in those thoughts, any, any wisdom that your body is throwing up for you, something that you haven't been focusing on that is holding you back. You know, we've been so distracted with our thoughts, with our doing, with socializing. Is there anything that is coming up from deeper inside. And even if it's not right now, we can leave space for it this evening and tomorrow. It might come up in our dreams. It might come up in thoughts later. That's okay, we can stay with it. But this breathing into this, these spaces that are feeling caught or knotted up, just releasing something within us. And as we do that, if we can just bring our focus to our belly button and imagine this imaginative line connecting your belly button all the way up to your throat. So it's the sacral chakra connecting to our throat chakra. Just imagine as if there's this energy flowing between your throat and your belly. And your belly has been there for you. It's holding you up. Maybe you can just gently move very slowly from side to side. Feel the sensation of this imaginative line as it kind of curves upwards to your throat. 
And if you can think of anything that you haven't been able to communicate to someone or you know something you wanted to say at work or to a really close person and you haven't been able to for any reason i want that to just come up from your belly and release you can open your mouth just slightly and release ah <sighs> it's quite frustrating when you can't share what you really want to share or you know you feel like you are protecting someone for not sharing or you're protecting yourself and i just want to see this as a safe space for the, that to come out and release to maybe make a sound that's coming up just breathe it out and either later today or tomorrow if you want to write out this thing that you've been wanting to say or if you're feeling brave enough to actually say it to the person you can't or the people you can't that's something you can do but but keeping in mind that we have to keep healthy boundaries and we have to protect ourselves and this is a time this new you know this ending of a year beginning of another year or just you know the winter time as well is a time to kind of really connect authentically to what a mind body soul is telling us connect to our guides and know what we really want to communicate so even if we can't do it outwards it could come out in something else if if you like doing art if you want to you know write out something that you can't communicate to others if you want to put in that energy into a project you know so it's about how to bring that frustration out within our body which is holding on which is making us feel so frustrated inside how can we bring that out it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to clash with someone or push our way through in the work or at home with people we can't but how do we find a really nice caring way for communicating that in whatever we are doing outside you know so it's kind of taking it and magically making it happen but without the clashing without the negativity that can come up in relationships and communication and as we connect to this thought or thoughts that we want to communicate i want you all to just close your eyes for a few more minutes and this is like a kind of manifesting into the new year what we want to do and it's not about putting pressure into new year resolutions and things but just think of something that you really want to do for the next month or two months you know it could be anything something for your work for yourself for your relationship or something that you've been wanting to a goal that you've had in mind just bring that up again and see how your body is reacting is there is there any feeling in your stomach in your chest is there fear around it is there excitement and i want you to think of it as if it's a timeline so imagine a month from now you don't have to do it in a month but just imagine that it's already happening right now whatever that thing you really wanted to happen it's happening right now how is your body reacting to that imagine you just stepping into yourself in that future moment how is your body feeling now is it excited nervous a bit of both everything that you wanted for that moment is happening it's happening right now is there pride for having achieved what you thought you couldn't and 
just imagine that it's happening whether we think it is going to happen or not it's just about stepping into that it's happening Whew. i can feel the buzzing in my stomach coming up to my throat as i'm thinking about that moment right now what's your body feeling like what's what's the energy of this moment of having achieved what you've been wanting to or is there there could be a bit of sadness as well there could be some other feelings that are coming up just just stay with that for a few minutes and then just with your eyes closed just imagine that timeline from where we are now to the moment you stepped into that thing happening just imagine a line connecting these two and then just imagine looking back and thinking of the last few steps you took for this thing to happen did you have to do something specific that made you finally step into it happening did you have to release some negative thoughts that were holding you back what are those thoughts where are they coming up from and what is your body telling you as you're thinking of those thoughts just just one or two steps before that final step we were in and where are you when you're those few steps behind can you imagine the space can you imagine what smells and sounds are around you really feel into your body as you're trying to release those final few things you need to release to step into that wonderful feeling you were feeling just a few minutes ago so just a few steps behind what is your body telling you anything that you thought you're surprised that you that's coming up you didn't think it would we can see the goal so clearly but there's this one or two things that are really niggling at the back of our minds that are pulling us back and you can feel the difference of this holding back to just a few minutes ago when you were when you had stepped into that goal when you had done it you had achieved it what what is that difference where i can feel a tightness around my chest as i can think of that thing holding me back i can feel my breathing a bit more tougher than it was a few minutes ago when i was in that spot and then again let's see if we can step back up to that last point that we just brought up in our minds that we we were accomplished what we wanted to be feeling elated or excited or just relieved that we've managed to meet that goal that we've been wanting to for the last month or a few days and again see where what's the shifting in the body feeling like i can feel a release around that tightness in my chest i'm in this space it's exciting i'm also a little nervous because having stepped into this goal will bring up new goals for me into the future but for now i'm feeling excited and present for being here and having achieved this thing that i wanted to let's just enjoy this feeling for a few more minutes before we step back into the present to see any wisdom your body is telling you that you managed to do 
when you thought you couldn't? What shifted inside you to make it happen? When you thought all the odds were against you? And then imagine that timeline I was telling you and just imagine taking a few steps back right to where you are right now, to the present moment, or back where you're sitting in front of the computer screen. Just feeling the seat underneath you. Feeling back to the space that you were in. The sensation on your skin. And as we do that, can we that imaginary line from your belly button. Now imagine it going down into, through the seat that you're sitting on, down into the ground. We're just grounding ourselves with this body wisdom that we've been feeling the last few minutes. Imagine like a inverted tree going down into the ground. The roots are kind of spreading into the ground beneath you. And it's your own anchoring energy. Just breathe into those roots going into the ground. See if you can release any tensions that have come up again back to being in the space we are right now. And just imagine that we're going to take those few steps that we need to, that our body is telling us to get to that goal that we want to do for the next coming month or months. And also keeping in mind the energies that are coming up of relationships and issues that might be coming up glaringly in front of us. And just seeing how we don't, want to be thrown around by these energies. If we're aware that things are coming up, then we can, you know, be more graceful in the way we react to it and not feel thrown around like a seed in the wind or like a leaf in the wind. We're just, we're just grounded into our own energies, knowing what we want to communicate authentically and what we don't want to connect with. We can try and see if we can manage to move around that without clashing against that other person or that situation that's coming up constantly. Let's see if we can at least bring that to the uh, awareness and just ground ourselves when we're feeling not grounded, just spreading the roots down through us can help literally feel more grounded. And just a few minutes of silence before I'll ask you to open your eyes. Just breathing normally into our bellies. Thanking our guides for nature and the energy around us. And with our eyes still closed, if we, if we can just wave our body from side to side, stretch out our shoulders, move your neck very gently from side to side. Just This is just to release any stiffness might be in our bodies. Just finally releasing that. And then just feeling... Again, that energy of the full moon, of this authentic communication from 
deep within us of what we really want from the coming months, of what we want to communicate to ourselves and to the people who we trust around us, forming that community, whether it's one person, a few people, it could be virtual, it could be social, or it could just be within you. It could be just you sitting for a while and communicating what you needed to by writing it down, by singing it out, by breathing it out every few minutes in a day. Let's just take a few deep breaths and open up our eyes and come back together to this space that we're all sharing. <sighs>